Ferrari Red. Sleek design, unique and special. A new kind of mobility. Sustainable, inclusive, freedom-loving. The idea originally came from the simple need to be mobile and to be able to move around freely without any major transfer from the wheelchair. We know the trike scene from America. It's very popular and widespread there, and there are a few solutions for people with disabilities. The problem is, none of them are compliant with the norms in Germany and the EU. Paul Stappenbeck from Berlin developed the first e-trike of its kind. For wheelchair users and anyone with a liking for special, environmentally conscious ways to get around. I want to build an inclusive vehicle, one that can accommodate either wheelchair users or pedestrians, to find common ground and join forces with one vehicle. It was this desire that drove the development of this e-trike. The message is clear. Get out of the niche segment and into the wide, wonderful world. State-of-the-art and fashionable. But the road was a long and winding one. Paul was in a cycling accident as a teenager and has been paralyzed from the waist down ever since. But that didn't stop his urge to be mobile and free. His original dream was to ride a motorbike, but how to make one wheelchair friendly? There was no such thing on the German market. So the 27-year-old scoured the internet and found absolutely nothing. At first, I couldn't believe it. I thought, this can't be. There are 30-odd motorcycle manufacturers and who knows how many car firms for pedestrians. But for people with disabilities or wheelchair users like me, there is nothing. Reason enough to get to work. The plan was to adapt something that already existed. So it was back to the net to find a basic model. He found this medical scooter and adapted it to his own needs and wishes step by step. That's the original shape of the body, unpainted but already nicely filled and sanded with the lines remodeled. And here is the end result. Effectively, we ended up with fire engine red or Ferrari red. One thing really astounded Paul. All the parts he used were already available in conventional stores. But until now, no one had thought of assembling them differently. This spurred him on to fight for his dream. I noticed that there was nobody waiting for my new product, especially the big automakers who have platforms where you can submit ideas, project an image of being very open-minded. But when you knock on the door and say, check this out, this is my concept, this is how it works, this is what sets it apart, there is nothing like it on the market, they reject it straight away. I suspect that nobody wanted to go near the clichéd old disabled image. Eventually, he secured the backing of an e-motor conversion company and a plastics manufacturer. But he still had to secure the financing. 15,000 euros for the prototype alone. Eventually, the ADAC Automobile Club Foundation stumped up 10,000 euros. Now, there was nothing standing in the way of the e-trike. Through his own homepage, he attracted even more investors. A patent lawyer drew up some blueprints and got the official stamp of approval. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyone who rides a motorbike will be familiar with this feeling of freedom, of fresh air on your face. That's what I associate it with when I'm getting ready to ride. Fun and function. The e-trike comes pretty close to fulfilling Paul's understanding of modern mobility. And it's economical to run too, about a euro for 100k. Full steam ahead. The major investors are coming. And once the small version has gone into series production, there are plans for something a little bigger. My next step would be getting to the 125cc class. 
with top speeds of 100 to 120 kilometers an hour, so that you could use it on the autobahn. But I need an awful lot of capital to realize that project. Capital, um das umsetzen zu können. I want to promote inclusion and maybe even reinvent inclusion. It doesn't always have to be for wheelchair users. It can be vice versa, for pedestrians too.